What's up, Arslings? Welcome back to the channel, The Last Kingdom, Season 2, Episode 5. And we're coming off an episode that kind of felt like a finale. There was a lot of really big storylines that were closed up. Yes. Kjartan and Sven are both dead. I thought that was like a storyline that we were going to carry through like multiple seasons. Yeah. To, like, to I thought get it was there to murder him. I thought it was going to be a slow burn for sure. And I think I even said that in the intro to the episode that he died, which I didn't see that coming so quickly. It, it really did kind of make sense because it was an opportunity that Ragnar and Uhtred were together. Yes. And this was their moment where they they were together. They kept saying like, hey, we're not doing this revenge thing without each other. So they were together, they came up with a plan and they handled it. Uhtred is back with Alfred and Alfred sent him on another mission to handle the two brothers, Siegfried and Eric. And he got into a fight that he was kind of losing for a minute. We were a little concerned. Siegfried, but he ended up slicing his hand off and made a deal with Eric to leave. And it feels like one of those things where kind of what Siegfried was talking about and screaming about, like, no, don't do it, kill him, all this, I'm not gonna ever forget this, and he's gonna want him dead. Right, I feel like you this need is, to have revenge, that's their thing. I feel like this is a dude who is gonna kind of be in like a thorn in, his, in Uhtred's side for a long time, but I'm really curious to see where they go from here now, because again, those felt like the two biggest storylines that Uhtred was dealing with. Obviously, Alfred has his own thing that he's dealing with, with his family and his land and his goals and his everything daughter. that he's trying to do yeah. with with England and all that stuff. But yeah, just a few episodes into this season, there was some big storylines handled, and I'm very curious to see where they go and how they handle it. I mean, those fights and, and those storylines felt really big. It's awesome that they got their sister back, which was really I cool. Know. I feel really bad for her. You could tell that she is... Um traumatized yeah she's definitely traumatized living in a dungeon with a bunch of like at least she had the companion of the animals yes like it probably could have been a lot worse if she was just by herself not dealing with no, anything and but they would do horrible horrible yeah. horrible things to her yeah and i think sven was doing horrible things and he faced a death that he definitely deserved because he should have been strung up by yeah. certain things he was a piece of shit and and a coward and guy. that was pretty wild that his dad watched him die. Kjartan, while they were retreating, looked over and was like, oh shit, my son's getting eaten by a bunch of hounds. Yes. And then he ended up having to fight Ragnar and he ended up getting his ass beat. And Ragnar took things really far, which yeah. uh, very understandable. Yes. I, I mean, I was. it was a little concerning because that you could hear the crowd say no. Brita was getting a little upset with the whole situation. and Yeah. I just don't think Ragnar was or Uhtred was enjoying it. I don't think anybody wanted Ragnar to like lose himself. Yeah. I, I mean he had a lot way, built up there. Yeah. That was a lot that he was going through and he that he to let it out. Let it all out. Yeah. And I mean he didn't just he was like using a sword and then he took out his dagger and was like pop, 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 just going nuts. He was going crazy. So he was turning him into Swiss cheese. Yeah. For sure. And it's very understandable. So where they all go now is going to be very interesting to see how they do this. Because again, it felt like a giant book was closed three, four episodes into season two. So I'm very much looking forward to it. You ready to check out to see what direction this show goes in in episode five? Yes. Let's go. Three oh, years no, later. No intro. Right into it. I was not. Touch it. Kingdom of Mercia. This feels real sketch. Be ready. Looks like a pirate. That's a, he looked like, <laughs> I was going to say, like, Captain Jack Sparrow. It's kinda, Just a little it's less. kind of what it felt like. You know. Ah, clap. That guy's coming, becoming my favorite dude. It's, it's the stash. I swear, she says she loves me. She would. It's a trick. She's a whore. No, he loves as your silver. Is that the name of his cock? Oh my god. I wish to marry her. I wish you to kill Danes and survive the night. <laughs> Focus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at the fog. Oh, bitch. <laughs> Oh, you dummy. Yeah, well, you had a chance right there. There will Not be no much. more than 30 riders. We hide and we wait. I love the fog. So they're out raiding? Is that what's going or on here? killing the raiders. 
the oh, they're arc. protecting. Yes, villagers. <laughs> He's got a big old smile on his face. Yeah. Are you drunk? No! No, he's dead. He dead. Oh! Yeah! Fucking breaking jaws there, dude! Get him, bro. Get him. Damn, Uhtred. He's all getting fancy with his sword skills there, just twirling it around. It's a show. It's not just a battle, it's a show. Oh, oh. That felt kind of easy. That fog gave them a good advantage. Yeah. What's your name? Her name is Ethelflaed, Lord. King Alfred. He has a daughter named Ethelflaed. She's strong and brave. Aww. You need to be the same. Vinan, hang three of the dead from the trees, visible from the river. Lord. Sending a strong message there, huh? Tell anyone who cares to listen. Beyond Lund and the River Thames belongs to Alfred. And that's guarded by Uhtred of Vebenburg. You can tell Finnan really likes his job with Uhtred. Yeah. I think I think working with Uhtred is fun. I, I mean... I mean, obviously he's still under the orders of Alfred, which I think Uhtred's getting tired of that, probably, because he wants to go accomplish his own missions yeah. and handle things, because his uncle's still out there, right? Yes, yeah. So he wants to, he wants Bebenberg and he wants all of that, but he continues to find himself in positions to... Help others. Yeah, and basically be in debt to Alfred. Yeah. Well, seems like it, a lot of people that he meets, he's indebted to just out of being a good person. Well, and he kind of does things to get himself into trouble, Lord. like yeah, when he killed the uh, the idiot guy. Yes, in the sacred place. Uh -huh. That's a welcome that sight. Habit. My wife and my boy. Oh, he's got. Oh, <laughs> yay! Don't forget your daughter. She's Aww, here too. And the little girl. Oh my god, look at these babies. Uhtred, son of Uhtred, son of Uhtred, son of Uhtred. And so on and so forth. Oh, come on. This guy. How much of my ale have you drunk? <laughs> Not a cup. Oh, he's sober now. You've been ill. <laughs> Not ill, sober. Well, good for you. The dead speak. I have seen it. The dead? A corpse. I saw him rise from his grave and speak. What did this corpse say? Well, what he said concerns us both. I, I saw, hence my visit. And, and what I tell you are his words, not mine. You understand First. that I should be king. Oh. No, don't believe me. It is true. He said that I should be king of Wessex and that you, you should be a king too. He said that you, Uhtred, will be crowned king of Mercia. Bjorn heard it through the three spinners. Bjorn? That is his name. Bjorn Ragnarsson? Dead Dane, yes. Therefore, a good Dane. Not <laughs> rude. <laughs> so, what the fuck did you say? It's like, so you're not drinking ale anymore, so you're on drugs now. <laughs> Do you not believe me? Where did you see this corpse? Mercia, beyond Watling Street. You crossed into Daneland. I know what I saw. I feel like we're missing an episode. We just took a three year time jump. When Bjorn is ready to speak, there will be a messenger. Do you wish Alfred harm? No. No, of course not. I mean, I wish him dead, but I would not harm him. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for your kindness. Alright, this is interesting. He gray. So Bjorn Ironside is just rising up from the dead. No, I'm just kidding. No, is that how we're... It's not, I know it's not. Is that supposed to be him? No. To become king of Mercia, you would need to break that oath. That is my fate. And you believe he speaks the truth? <laughs> no, I do not. But I know he's not telling lies. The truth is another matter. We do not want an enemy such as Alfred. <laughs> Alfred will not want an enemy like me. <laughs> no, yeah, definitely. I don't want anybody. <laughs> Uhtred, no, nobody wants you as an enemy, dude. 
Lord King! Welcome to Kukum. Lord Uhtred is at the fortress, the borough. Would you fetch him, Finan? We'll be waiting in the hall. I will, Lord. The man must have a priest for each day of the year. God be with you. And also with you. <laughs> Oh, shit. Lord, we are crossing into Wessex. This stretch of river is protected by Lord Uhtred. You say you have trade there? I do, Lord. Uh-oh. Lord, I cannot risk losing my ship. You will keep your ship. Pretty boy Eric's back. Yeah. I... Uh-oh. Clapper. He does not like to wait. It is a pagan's hall. You say the same every time we visit. Uhtred is a pagan. He insists upon clinging to these ancient beliefs. The beliefs of our forefathers. Who knew no better? The ale is freshly brewed. Ah, excellent. <laughs> you are content in Wessex, I am, Lord. My daughter is now old enough and will soon be gifted in marriage. You are fond of her suitor, Lord? Ethelred. I wish her happiness. The purpose of marriage is not to be happy, my dear. Then I am ah. fortunate. Yes, you are. I pray my own wife might say the same. <laughs> <laughs> you tread. Do not deserve such a charming wife. Oh, I can only agree, Lord. I was not expecting you. There's been no message. I'm hearing you've hanged a man. I hanged many men just lately. I'm speaking of a Saxon man, a man of Cookham, of Wessex. That is why you're here. Amongst other concerns. He's always got concerns. You hanged him without trial. You're guilty. It is the purpose of a trial to determine guilt. People must witness justice being done. Has there been a complaint, Lord? There are laws. Carefully written laws, and if you wish to remain an alderman, would it be... We do not cross over into Dane land. We do not cross over into Dane law, in mind, nor body, nor spirit. My nephew, Ethelwald, he was, uh, well, he was seen doing just that. Leaving Wessex, crossing through Mercia from west to east. Are you aware of this? No oh, shit, is he gonna lie? I'm not. Mm. When Ethelwald was here, he mentioned nothing of crossing into Daneland. Mm. What did he mention? Killing you. He mentioned BK. you, Lord, and how you took his crown. Ethelwald is permanently idle. My advice is the same as it has always been. You should put him on trial and then kill him. Oh, damn. Should the devil begin to whisper in his ear that I may have no choice? Kind of what happened? Depending on your point of view? <laughs> Shit. so pretty but I think Hild is the one that makes it look pretty <laughs> she's got style she does it's like put away your warrior pick up your priest yeah. what is that that structure there place for prayer lord a church we tread not quite lord it's a shack the cross attached <laughs> if it is for the purpose of prayer then it is a church lord a ship is near. Traders. Perhaps you'd like a moment to pray, Lord? I'll need to watch the trader. Yes, I would like that. Lord, I was just thinking about you. You were my prayers. <laughs> Please continue. Do not let me disturb your peace. Would you care to sit with me in peace, Lord? I would, Hild. I will. <laughs> Could you imagine, like... Thinking of Alfred and like maybe saying a prayer for him and then he walks in when okay. you're not expecting him. Yeah, kind of crazy. <laughs> you're like, oh, hi. Have you found your lasting peace? I am here, Lord. I feel more content here with God than with my sword. Courage without the sword is the more difficult path. I pray you find your peace sooner than I. Thank you, Lord. Beautiful. Stay with the ship. I was expecting you days ago. My man saw warriors support your ship. Is this true? Oh, shit. Free men only, Lord. It is a Northman. He wishes to speak with you. Hello. His name is Eric. He has a brother, Siegfried. Oh, shit. Finnan, first sign of trouble, fire the ship. There'll be no need for fire, Lord. Central. Fetch me a whole bunch of torches. <laughs> <laughs> I like to be prepared. He really likes the job that he currently has. He does! <laughs> what the hell's Eric gonna want? Right? 
Why are you here? I'm not looking to fight. Not yet. You believe I'm traveling to meet with a dead man? You deal in sorcery now? You have my word that I will make my appointment in mercy, and then I shall return to Frankia. Siegfried is in Frankia. He is, but not for much longer. My brother is restless. We have a fleet now, 19 ships. And you will sail to work? Oh, we have no firm plan other than to listen to Bjorn. The dead man. He sate without surprise. I think he might have gotten wind of this ghost. He speaks the words of a free spinner. We cannot ignore him. We? Oui. You and I. After his defeat at Ethendon, the old Guthrum rejected our gods and they are angry. Uh oh. They want revenge. I believe we have been chosen. You will receive your invitation. You shall see for yourself, I'm sure. What if I refuse to meet with this ghost? That is a matter for the three spinners and the gods. What if I believe this ghost to be a trap, to be Siegfried wanting to kill me? You have my word. It is not. Yeah. I totally trust you. Am I allowed to pass to keep my own appointment? You are. Safe journey. All the way back to Frankia. You will always have my respect. Uh, thanks for kind of throwing that in there at the end. I do not forget you were raised as a Dane. This isn't like I like this new little aspect that they've thrown into this show. Mm -hmm. This whole Bjorn thing and this ghost and them giving them messages. And Roth was a delight, Kisa. As is the ale. You should moderate, Otto. You have a ladder to climb to find your bed. <laughs> My head will be sore in the morning. I know it. Well, then it's ale for breakfast, Lord. The only cure. <laughs> yep, hair of the dog. <laughs> was my nephew drunk when he was here last? I feel a little too soft and drunk, Lord, but this last time he did not touch a drop. He mentioned he had been sober for days, which came as a surprise. As a miracle? Not quite. <laughs> The safety of Wessex concerns me. Which is why we killed the raiders, Lord. Raiders who once belonged to El Guthrum. His name is now King Ethelstan. That has been his name since he became a Christian. It's his men who now break the peace. You're sure of this? I am. Two hundred or more will see it. And the number grows. If these rogues are Ethelstan's men, then they are his worry. Till they decide to blockade the river, Lord, and Wessex will be starved of trade. You must kill them. I believe we must kill them. What we must do is hold the peace. War cannot always be the answer. Lord. Forgive me, but you speak of matters you do not fully understand. <laughs> and Ethelstan will not deal with them. For now they are rogues, but should they find a lord to serve, then they will become an army. So ask me this, where might this lord come from? Do I know of him? You can be sure he will not be called Uhtred Lord, if that is your meaning. Seriously, where are you going, Alfred? <laughs> no. My advice, lord, is to send ships and men to Beamfliot. We shall maintain the peace. You are so stubborn. Isn't Uhtred always right? Uhtred seems to be right all the time, but I also do like that Alfred listens to everyone, but then makes a strong decision. You should ask him to release you, and we will go north. I'm content here, but we cannot become an enemy of Alfred. I understand Alfred's point of view, because when you've had three years of peace, you don't want to... You'll wait as long as you can to disrupt that. Yeah. I think I preferred you with a sword. You could probably kill someone with that, though. <laughs> <laughs> I love their little relationship, the brotherly, sisterly thing. I would like to build a house, a nunnery, here in Cookham, but with your permission, and that of the bishop, of course. The time is the right time. You have my permission, no question. Thank you. And you have my protection. Always. I was healed. <laughs> I love their relationship. I, do. I feel like it's got taken to like a new level with their moment in the field when Nutri got saved. Yeah. And she's going through some things. She's trying to figure out some stuff. Mm -hmm. She's trying to find her peace. Yeah. Even the air is rich here. London is how far up river? Half a day with the tide. We we'll take that the earliest and do dread. As we planned. Yeah, fuck this guy. Oh. Fucking. Okay. Okay. Should call him Merle. <laughs> and Aaron. Should we give him a hand? 
<laughs> you can't do that. He'll slice his other hand off. And how is your own lady, Father? The Dane. Tura? She's not my lady. Aww. She is something of a strange beauty. Yes, sir. She's yes. I inform God each evening how much I miss the company of a woman. We talk. Oh my God, he's... Stop being such a horn dog, dude. There is no finer sight. Dude, relax. You are to go to King Ethelstan. He may need help with the reading of this letter. He is to deal with the rogue Danes at Bayham Flairton swiftly, if you could emphasize swiftly. Emphasize swiftly. You have been allocated a guard. They are waiting for you in the stable. I am to leave now, Lord. Swiftly, Father. I was somewhat looking forward to the celebrations, Lord. Swiftly. Get the fuck out. Get the, get the fuck like, out. I don't care that you want to participate in the wedding. You have a mission to do. Go deliver this letter, please. Honestly. See, Alfred is handling it. He's just handling it in a different way. Trying to be more diplomatic. Girl, say what you think. I have not seen anything so beautiful. Aww. She is really cute. He does not deserve you. <laughs> will Uhtred be coming to the wedding? Sadly, he will. I'm sure. <laughs> she <laughs> still hates him. <laughs> That's never gonna go away. Just saved his son, but whatever. <laughs> saved a lot of things. <laughs> He probably isn't king right now if it wasn't for Uhtred. It is fertile land, Lord. He might not even be alive today. Oh, greener than Mercia. Though Wessex does have the advantage of not sharing a border with the Welsh. The Welsh to the west, the Danes to the east, and Alfred to the south. We're surrounded. So would then he be king of the north? <laughs> have you made a decision yet? My request to marry, Lord, I would like to have a family. Lord, you will answer the man. I will speak with her at Winchester and give you my decision. But you have to give her no more of your arm rings, nor silver. <laughs> Nutrid, dude. No more peen covered in silver. <sighs> oh, he's been touching the ale. I see you're drinking again, at the world. Just a cup or two, nothing more. I have news for you. You know where to find me. Gisela is like, fuck off. I think she's intrigued. This girl whom Cedric loves, you will not belittle her. She's an alehouse whore. And what is Ethelfled? It's the way. She is a whore in a wedding gown. If it is the way, then I belong to your uncle still. Ew. I will say no more. Well, I'm pleased to hear it. Ouch. Don't fight, guys. You know how Uhtred does with fighting with his woman. I would have enjoyed a cup of ale with you both, but I must leave you. Should have left already. Alfred said swiftly, get out of here. It was a matter upon which I find myself in need of your advice about Tudor. Oh, uh, as I say, she's, she's well. But my problem is this. She must leave. Join you a cook and more return to Ragnar. I do want to hear, it's just that I, I, I simply cannot think. Uh, I, I can't work, I can't sleep. It's been like this for months. I, mean, I can barely pray. I mean, when I do pray, I pray only for myself, which is, is wrong. <laughs> I didn't realize she had become such a burden, Father. I mean, she, she's not a burden. She could never be a burden. Then, Father, I'm lost. Why must she leave? I'm because in love I with her. think of anything but her. Aww. It is constant and it is pathetic. <laughs> well, she is fair and I am Bayaka, a man old enough to be her much older brother. <laughs> I love You're this. Smiling. <laughs> You're laughing at me. No, Father, I swear I'm not laughing at you. What? I see your teeth. I'm sharing your joy. I'm laughing with you. There is no joy. I feel I am in a purgatory of sorts. Tura will not go to Ragnar. She's happy here in Winchester with you. Nonsense. Bayaka. You are her peace, her happiness. Marry her. Marry her. You should marry her, father. And bed her. <laughs> I fucking love Uchid so much. <laughs> and give thanks to God for giving us such a joy. <laughs> Praise him, father. Dude, seriously, all the relationships that Uchid has with people... They're so it's, awesome! It's amazing. I mean, the conversations that he has with people and the connections with them, like... 
He's, Yoke is amazing. He see he's he's on a deeper <laughs> level so with you. Mm. What I know, Alfred could not have chosen a bigger turd. <laughs> He was indeed shut out the arse of a joint. <laughs> he is to be king of mercy, they are saying. The elderman of the wit in the sack. Dude, what is what is wrong with it? What happened to his Would face? Would never allow another Saxon to be called king. Nor would a certain dead man called Bjorn. He wishes to meet you. Come with me. Okay. <laughs> this was clean. Why is it that you're being trusted with my business? Who gave you this message? Uh, a skull, a pagan skull. His I name? Uh, I, I laugh, I live. Something Dane, something odd. Like it or not, we are bonded, you and I. Bonded? Yes. Our ancestors were kings, and yet we are barely acknowledged as eldermen. We deserve more. You especially deserve more. I am no longer part of the Witten, even. Uhtred, I can see you are torn, but why should we stand by and watch while power and wealth is given to the likes of Ethelred of Mercia? Riding through Winchester like a peacock, like he was king. When? When am I to meet with Bjorn? We leave tonight. We can be back here in two days in time for the wedding. Shit. We leave as soon as my horses are cooled and fed. The winds are blowing a change, Lord King. <sighs> this feels... This feels like stakes are raising very quickly. You'll be glad to hear that I've made my decision. You may marry this girl. Lord, thank you. Upon completion of a task, you'll fetch Clapper, you'll go to the stables and wait for me, ensure the horses are watered and fed, but ready. Go. Thank you, Lord. We will name a first sandwich with Lord. No, you will not. <laughs> dude, I fucking love this dude. I, I mean, I love the actor himself. Oh, He's very good at this. He's great. He's like, no, you will not. <laughs> no, you don't. You dare. <laughs> fucking idiot. Here we come. You, you gave me a fright. Forgive me. Are you coming inside? I have supper. Aww. You should ask it. Marry me. The... That was not a question. That no. was a demand. Yeah. You're like... I said, I said, marry me. <laughs> it was selfish of me to ask to even mention the word. I fear you have become someone I cannot live without. Aww. Fear no more. Come here. Aww. Yay! Now kiss her. <laughs> Praise him. <laughs> Who's he talking about? Utrid? I don't Praise know. Utrid? <laughs> it feels like what Utrid just did is above an act of God for him. <laughs> All right. What an episode this is so far. They blend right in. Who leads here? Oh, this guy. I do. I am Heston. You are Uhtred of Bebenbur. You spared me at Efferwich, Lord. You're expected and welcome. Hmm. I'm... Yeah, this is all... This is all set up. This is bullshit. And fucking Aethelwold needs to fucking die now. I serve Eric. Siegfried's brother he sends you good wishes. Eric is not here? Uh, he's not. My lord wants you to know that by now he will be at Beamfliot. I love his resting, lord, in preparation for tonight. You may wish to do the same. Hmm. Feels very hard to trust the setup. Yeah. And everything that's playing out right now. We have a fleet. Nineteen ships. That's more than 500 men, plus those already there. And those who will come? Then it has started. The end of the peace. Yup, here it comes. The conflict. Alfred's gonna have to make a really big decision soon. Once the marriage is made, you should consider making Ethelred earn his privilege. Skirmishes and raids from the Danes must not be tolerated. It should be made Ethelred's responsibility. And the Mercian elderman should be invited to attend a Wessex Witten for the purpose of bowing to the king. It would be a simple reminder of his position. I mean... At least Alfred is aware of that. I have to imagine that mindset would never shift from him. Right. Uhtred has left Winchester last night. And gone where? We don't know for certain. And what if his current witch? His wife, dear. Hey, bitch, slow down. Dude, she is... <laughs> She's so just... 
I don't know what the word is. Put a watch on Gisela. She must not leave until her husband has returned and explained his absence. I have news. Utrecht has returned. <laughs> what is your news? I am to be married. Is Alfred not going to allow it? Oh, he better Everything fucking allow it. It's not fair. He now calls himself a Christian. Are we going to go fucking kill Guthrum? He has shamed every warrior. Everybody's beards are so epic. I know. I'd love to know how they keep it so groomed. It's called, it's either crew or so fake. <laughs> the gods are with us. For you. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. It wasn't joking. They've got a fucking army. And a lot of ships. Forgive me for not being awake to greet you, Lord Neon has given me little rest these recent times. After tonight, I hope to sleep. I'm fascinated with this storyline. Mm -hmm. I'm just so curious to see what's actually gonna happen. It's a Christian graveyard. Yes, Lord. I mean, the Bjorn we know was his remains were put like in a big... Yeah, with his horse. So maybe it's a different Bjorn? But... To raise the dead, Lord. I'm sure there's we a bunch of Bjorns in too. Viking history. He's guilty. What did you steal? Just a, a lamb, Lord, for my family. <laughs> what is this, please? No, no, please, The fuck? What? Bitch, who did they bury under there? Uchard's like, wait a minute, I know that guy. He, he was not dead. <laughs> the harp string. Welcome, dear. This feels fake. You have a message for Lord Uhtred. The brothers have tonight begun that which cannot be stopped. Saxon blood. Shit. You are to be king. King of mercy. King of Saxon Dane. King of other kings. You, Lord Uhtred. Sworn to Alfred. Alfred is nothing compared to the gods. Uhtred's not buying it. Is it true what Bjorn says? They're attacking London. I cannot say for certain, Lord, but that was the plan, which would now be your city as King of Mercia. I mean, Citra just saw the truth. Yeah, Citra so. just saw the guy get back out of the ground. So he's going to deliver that message to Uhtred, and is Uhtred going to believe him? I don't know. It is like. <laughs> Regardless of how outrageous certain things are, when you're told stuff like that, it kind of empowers you a little bit. Yeah. I don't get the vibe that Uhtred is fully believing this whole setup and no. situation. Because it's like, oh, rebury him. Like, oh, he just happened to have spit out right. the harp string that you just put in the dead man's mouth. Oh. Right. He couldn't possibly have already had that in his mouth. I mean, is this like a bigger conspiracy that all these people are connected to or... Yes, they're all trying to fuck with each other. I'm even talking about Uhtred's dudes. Like, oh, they believe no. it, and it's like... I mean, well, they're pagan, so, you know, like, that's the kind of thing that they would believe. But Athelwold, this is all oh, his... Yeah, he's... I don't know what you're getting out of this. Well, something he's probably for sure. made a deal with the Danes yeah. to, to give them something in exchange for making him a king of something. Of something, yeah. For sure. Oh, don't fall for it. This was such a good episode. Oh my god, I loved it. Such a good episode. I this, love this show. Like, 
it, it's one of those interesting things how coming off of the last episode, we we're like, what the hell is going to happen now? But then it's like three year time jump. And then Eric and Siegfried are in reintroduced. And these years they've been building a fucking massive army and they've got plans and they've now implemented this whole dead Bjorn thing to like send out certain messages to get Uhtred on their side or to betray and kill him, which feels like the more obvious thing. But it's one of those things where Uhtred is essentially Alfred's sword and muscle. You get him out of the picture, it makes taking things over a lot easier. Right. As you see in the opening episode, they're basically the authority of the land where Alfred's like, go handle it. And they go kill people and protect the people in the towns that they were going to. Villagers. Yeah, the villagers. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It almost feels like a situation where you remove Uhtred and then Alfred becomes more vulnerable. Yes. And it's kind of just that trickle down effect. Yes. Yeah, so, I mean, I think Alfred needs to be way more appreciative of everything that Uhtred has done besides the chaos. I mean, his wife hates him so much. Regardless of what Uhtred does, like, Alfred's wife is never going to even give an inch to him. Regardless of the situation or how good their life currently is or how much peace they have as a result of Uhtred's plans and everything that he's done in the past. But Alfred... He's in one of these positions. I feel like we've seen this a lot in a bunch of different pieces of content. But when there's a lot of peace, and we're talking three years, which in this world seems like a lot. A long time. You don't want to disrupt that. And sometimes, I understand. Sometimes it gets pushed to the point where you're kind of oblivious to the stuff around you, like Alfred kind of is in this situation, to where there's a massive army that's building and attacking London and right now, apparently you're not going to be able to react quickly enough to kind of defend it. And again, it goes back to, you even said it, like all of Uhtred's plans have been really good. And the fact that Alfred just basically dismissed it and then just sent a letter to be like to Lord Athelstan, which is what he's called now. Right to just deal with your raiders. And it's like, dude might not even be alive by the time that note gets there. No, no I, so, honestly, that guy's probably dead. But yeah, the, the sense of urgency that Uhtred felt wasn't felt by Alfred. And I feel like that's gonna become a really big problem. Mm -hmm. Because again, Siegfried and Eric have a massive army. Siegfried has done a really good job of playing the William Wallace role and like riling up all these troops and all these yeah. Vikings and they're ready to fight. And with his sword hand. Yeah. That was wild. Oh, you can't. It's just a situation where getting comfortable with the peace is going to probably end up biting you in the ass. Because again, it's one of those things where it's by the time you realize what's happening, it's probably going to be too late. I know. And that's Alfred not listening to Uhtred. Right. Again. It's just the stubbornness that. I mean, he is who he is, and Alfred... I mean, he's done a great job, but it's just like, can we just, can we give a little bit to Uhtred? And I, but here's the flip side, looking through Alfred's eyes. This dude's hanging people, he's killing people that necessarily didn't follow his laws that he's written out, and you didn't they stand any trial, trial. Yeah. and then he disappears. Yeah. And Alfred's like, I'm getting really tired of him not listening. And so from Alfred's point of view, it's almost like, doesn't matter. Uhtred's going to go do what Uhtred's going to do. And I can't control it. But he's pissing me off. Is like what I could feel in his head. And Alfred expects Uhtred, which I think is unreasonable, to just follow every single little command that he throws out there to be 100%. Like, Uhtred continues to be limbo in this middle ground of, like, Dane and Saxon. And, yeah, he's loyal to Alfred, but, yeah, he's still technically a Dane and all of that stuff. And there's just that middle ground is what is going to probably always give him trouble with someone like Alfred. Right. And especially Alfred's wife, who continues to call all of his wives witches. Honestly, <laughs> like, like Gisela is not a witch, dude. You're uh, a witch with I, a capital B. I like their relationship, too, because she feels like she's almost, of the other wives that he's had, a little bit more willing to, like, push back on Uhtred. And I think that might be kind of good for him. But oh, I love them. I love the relationship. I, I love... I love all of his I relationships. I mean, the Hild storyline is really cool. I love their relationship together. And like her putting her like armor and sword away for God and trying to find her peace. And Uchid being like, yeah, go do what you got to do. I got your back. 
I'm gonna protect you no matter what. Yeah, and it's really it's, sweet. What a good big brother. Yeah, it, it's such a great relationship. And then that Bioka conversation was one of the greatest things ever. I love It's that. like the moment Utrid realized what Bioka was saying, the way his face lit up was oh like, my God. dude. It's like you're smiling. I can see your teeth. It's like, <laughs> fucking marry her and go bed her. It's like, let's go. Like, Utrid was so excited. I feel bad for Bioka because Alfred's dealing with, like, possible war. And Bioka's yeah. like, I'm going to get married. Yeah. Y'all are excited. He like oh. walks in like with news. He's like, "Where's Utrid? Like yeah, Utrid, like, what? 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 This is not about him right now. This is me and Dara. We're gonna get yeah. married, and I'm, it's gonna be great." I'm really happy for her too because she looks so much better now. Yeah. I mean, she looks happy, and with like Bjork, like he didn't even ask the queen. He's like, "Marry me!" <laughs> See, like he just shouted it out. And he's like, "Oops, I mean, sorry. I mean, never mind. I gotta and, go." And then watching her kind of light up and be like, "Yeah." I'm always here forever kind of thing. Like, it was really sweet. And just, I hope Alfred doesn't try to, like, interrupt Shit that. that. yeah. Because I could kind of see him doing that because... I, I mean, need you. I need you yeah, right now. He's Tough Bio shit for that. Bioka's been such a valuable asset to so many people that I don't know what that relationship becomes if he ends up getting married and... Obviously, he wouldn't be a priest anymore, right? No, you like, still can be. That guy was talking about. But would he still be in Alfred's like good graces and everything? I think he still could be. Okay, yeah, I'm not sure how that works. So, I mean, because we think of like priests as you cannot have a spouse, right. and I don't know how it was in that time under Alfred and all that stuff. So, obviously, let me know. Because I'm not positive if that's an okay thing or. But we he, want it to be. Yeah. Bianca, he's. Oh, I love that character. I mean, it's just, again, it's all about the relationship and all of it just stems from Utrid. He is such an awesome character and the actor is absolutely flawless in this role. Because, like, the, mannerism, the mannerisms, the facial expressions, the way he responds to people. It was like, Citric was like, oh, I'm going to name my son Utri. He's like, no, you're... No, like, don't do that. No. No, 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 no. Like, no. his reaction to that was perfect. So, no, yeah. No, he will not. <laughs> no, he will not. There's, there's so many great connections and relationships. And the thing that takes shows from, like, being good to being amazing is the characters. And we've got so many characters that I feel like we're connecting with. Even someone as simple as Klappa, who's like, the dude really doesn't do or say much, but he's there and he's like fucking epic. Like, he's just one of these dudes where it's like, okay, we love this guy. Yeah, Klappa, and Finnan, Citric. They're all just, I love it. Ev everyone there is just so good and they're written really well. And even like the villains or the kind of gray era characters that... Like, obviously, we're on Uhtred's side, so, like, Alfred's one of these characters where I think he's fucking fantastic. I love this version of Alfred. I think he's doing an amazing job, and he just adds just a little bit layer of just kind of, like, eh, I don't really like the way you're acting kind of thing. I mean, there's only been one character I can think of that I'm not a huge fan of, and maybe they've written her like that, but Brita, I didn't. Oh. Uh... I mean, she was always really snarky and just... Like, the moment... I, I think she was always kind of offended with Uhtred. Not like She was... I feel like she's just... She's very abrasive. Yeah, and, and the moment you're not, like, with her, it's kind of like you're against her. Constantly. And, everybody is. But, like, they embraced at the end during that whole situation, and so... I, and I liked that part. It's just... I, I don't I know. definitely think that was intended for her character. To, to be, be yeah. written in a way that you always feel kind of talking as shit, she's abrasive. Being yeah. snarky. Even with Uhtred not Getting accepting them into him. Words. Well, yeah. like they were, felt like they were just constantly arguing. Like, yeah. just, can we just? Like, they were good. Can we just? They were good when they were together, but the no, moment. No, they weren't even good when I they mean, were together. They because, were. like, they had their issues and they lost a baby. And yeah. it's like. I mean, that creates a big rift in a relationship. But, I mean, I think she always had the mindset of if you're just going to continue to be Alfred's like puppy dog to do what whatever alfred says i don't think but she ever was, respected there that. was like zero like compassion or yeah. empathy for the situation that he was put in and had to deal with it's yeah. just like I think she was my going, way or the highway i think she was going through her own things and like the whole vision that she had with the ship and the baby and then losing the baby and then utra deciding to stay and then her going with with ragnar and all that stuff I think they got their shit together. I think they got back on the same page. I just, she just hasn't been my favorite. Yeah, like I, I the can other see characters. That. But Hild, love her. It's like oh, even Athelred, like he's such a shit, 
that Apple. I'm actually Apple Wolf. Yeah, there you go. Like he's such a shit that oh, I I want to punch him. In I'm his like really in, face. but I'm really enjoying him as a character on the show. I want to punch because him. I feel like the way he's written and his story being the way his story is being told, I feel like that's the intended response. No, I get that. I, part. I, I, I they're really, doing a, this is yeah. what I'm saying though. They're doing a great job with writing of all these characters yeah. because the way that they're writing them is the way I feel about them. Hundred percent. So they're doing a great job. So like every time this dude pops up on screen, you're just like, oh fuck this guy. It's Honestly, like, yeah. I just want to pull his hair. The out. fact that we feel that way is like well done you're doing a really good job i do want to give him a haircut for sure i'm gonna shave his head <laughs> like, give him a haircut so yeah that was an absolutely spit like it felt like like last episode felt like a finale this almost felt like a premiere yeah to the point like right in the like it's not even in the middle of the season actually it might be because i think there are eight episodes this season so it kind of is in the middle so yeah i thought that was a phenomenal episode and i love the way they were able to build the intrigue new conflict has been presented and then like the whole just bjorn storyline which i i was actually expecting some supernatural shit to kind of play out yeah. but nah that's just an old dude getting in the dirt and holding his breath for a long time and having <laughs> harp strings fucking yeah hard. so I, I really love that episode i love this show i think the story is super interesting and i can't wait to see where it goes because i feel bad for that father who died saying oh. that he was a thief. Yeah. He just needed to defeat his family, you yeah. dicks. They didn't actually really need to kill him. They didn't. Because the whole thing is... They could have just pricked his finger and eaten some blood, dude. They yeah. ate some blood. So, yeah, it's really good, though. Yep. I, I can't wait to see where it goes. So, yep. anything else? Nope. All right, y'all. Leave your comments down below, and we'll see you guys later for the next one. Destiny and us all have a good one. Bye. It looks like she got out of there, and she's, she's going to... be okay. Hopefully, you know, they take all the dogs with them. Yeah, hopefully. And feed them so they don't eat any more people. Yeah. But <laughs> no more human flesh, okay? Yeah. Yep. Oh, that was such a good episode. Yep. Anything else? Nope. All right, y'all. Leave your comments down below. We'll see you guys later for the next one. Bye. Bye.